In this episode of U-Boat, Britain heavily relies on naval shipping to keep its economy running. The High Command wants to exploit this weakness by various means. One of them is laying small minefields around the British Isles. High Command has identified several places near the southern England shore that are very promising for small minefields. U410 is tasked to place a minefield near the Isle of Portland. Welcome back friends and welcome to U-Boat and our sixth mission. Uh, we have a slightly different one. We have a mining mission today. We have to go uh, off the English Channel and near Portsmouth and drop some mines. So we have to load up our mines and I figured I'd show you how that works. And it's just quite easy. You go to your uh, torpedo tubes and just remove some mines, or sorry, <laughs> remove some torpedoes. They load some mines and we'll do about four of these. Put two in there, and then there we go. One in the aft, two up forward, four is for seven, and then we have to reach our destination. So let's. Oops, do I plot a course? So let's plot a course. Go up around and right to the English Channel and lay some mines here. So yeah, we are gonna head out to sea and we'll bring you back uh, if we get to our destination or if anything else of note uh, happens beforehand. So stay tuned. Sort of the new things about our boat is we have a new conning tower. We have the first uh, armored conning tower. And if we actually can operate uh, three anti-aircraft machine guns, if we fully utilize our crew. So we have the main one here. And then once we assign enough crew members, get up there. Uh, they will arm three. And we can take a look up there. So yeah, we have four, correction, I was looking at the barrels. Double here, double here, and a single here. So yeah, we have definitely a lot more anti-air defense. So if we get into some planes, we should be able to survive a little better. <laughs> back so we are almost to our destination and we did a hydrophone check and there is definitely some warships around us we have a group up here and we have some here but well, this one's moving away uh, and this ones are closing in so we're going to continue to get and we have some more behind us so oh we are surrounded Yeah, we're going to stay at, uh, that was just a hydrophone check, so we'll get a little closer. Ooh, our crew is very tired. We'll get in range here, and then we'll do a manual visual check to see what do we got. All right, so let's slow it down. And see if we got anything on the horizon. Oh, 
Got something there. Thankfully, we can dive the boat. <laughs> yes, we can dive the boat. We are a submarine. <laughs> Thankfully, ooh. Warship. 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 Oh, that's one warship. We can launch uh, torpedo mines. There we go. Words. If you're new to this channel, I can't speak very well, and I will trip over all my words. Alright, we are going to rig for blue. Cancel the alarm. Very good. Just want to get to this point. Yes, yes, I am well aware we are surrounded. Very well aware. Still very well aware we are surrounded. Thank you for all the reports. All right. So, mines are very easy. We can slow right down. Ooh. And yeah, we just launched the mines. So we can get another one here. We have to be moving at least uh, forward one. And while we're waiting for that, you can see... I can't see a mine, but here we go. Little mine there. Can we see it on the map? So we are going to do a little forest turn here. I want to use red, actually, mainly because I want to have the range to see a little better. Yeah, I just want that little clear sight. And that launch cell is complete. We'll launch more. And so here we go. Here is our mined pod that we can launch. Just finishing launching our last set of mines. We have one more to go, and then we need to escape all of these warships. There is definitely, definitely one or two uh, around us. You can see we got destroyers, lots of corvettes. Uh, we have a whole bunch over here. So. Uh, we are going to rig for silent running and we're going to slowly try and get out of here. Unfortunately, it's actually, you know what? We're going to go behind them. Seems like a much 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 safer option yeah we're gonna get you to sleep while we're doing this this 
Man, so many ships. See, we spotted a bunch of warships. Yep. Warships everywhere. All within a mile. Really can't see anything this way. It's pretty dark. All right, let's uh Yeah, you're going Let's see if we can spot anything ourselves. Forward. Of us. Just to plan our escape. It's pretty decent. All right, we're gonna risk do some risking here. We got one mile, one two miles, perfect five miles. We're gonna surface the ship. It's pretty good at night. Red light. Sable side and running. Load up some more torpedoes here. Turn on the diesel compressor. Compressor. Want to head out to this way. A little bit. I know there's ships over here. Oh, is this foggy? Uh, it's not too bad. So let's, uh, yeah. We're going to carry on and see if we escape and if we get caught. I will bring you back. So we have successfully cleared the area. It took us a while uh, to go down here. Uh, so about 65 nautical miles that way and about 27 ish that way so we have gotten out of the area so this is good we had to uh, not really dodge any warships which was amazing because uh, we are definitely not <laughs> I don't want to handle that many because I could probably shoot one solo but with so many in the area uh, probably not a good idea so we will be back uh, if we get anything else of note. Well, we have returned back to port, not the fanfare uh, after this patrol uh, as we did when we sunk the uh, HMS Royal Oak. However, uh, one of our radio operators we sir, received his Iron Cross second class and is halfway to its next. And a U-boat badge with diamonds for completing eight war patrols. Another one. This must have been our eighth uh, patrol in total. And indeed, it has. There we go. We have uh, successfully uh, done our first mine laying mission. Uh, it's a shipful mission today. Nothing a lot. Nothing. Uh, we didn't run into any uh, tankers at all. 
uh, off camera. Uh, so uh, I looked for them to try to give you some other shots, but it was just warships uh, groups. So nothing that I really wanted to tangle with uh, at this stage of the war yet. So thank you for turning into this short mission and we will catch you uh, next time. Thank <laughs> you.